Got a craving for tamales? Ooh, have I got you fixed up, folks. Great flavor, a Mexican casserole tamale pie. You won't be steaming these rascals, and no corn husk will you be rolling over there, folks. Come on, I got the fire hot, and I am going to pull you up a chair. Well, we thank y'all for dropping by camp. You can see, hey, the pond is glimmering in the afternoon sunlight. Fish might be biting, but Shan won't give me a fishing pole so I can try it out. But folks, y'all been asking for this in a long time, tamale pie. My mother used to fix it a long time ago, but I want to tell you something about my dear sweet mother, God rest her soul. She didn't like no spice in her food. Green chilies was way too hot. It's like you had 42 habaneros in there if you put some green chili. Well, folks, I'm gonna heat this up a little today and cook it my way. But one other thing I'm changing from my mother's old traditional way of using some old leftover tamales or canned tamales is, hey, we're going right here with some corn masa, folks, to give it that traditional tamale taste. And this is a one-pot meal. Hey, this is easy, it's quick, and it's simple. But if you want to make some tamales, and I guarantee you folks, we got some good ones. Mm, we did them for Christmas one year and people have been asking for them ever since. We'll have you a link right up there to where you can click on it and you can make tamales. You'll have to make four times the regular amount to have enough left over to make tamale pie because you're going to eat nearly all of these. Y'all seen me? I done browned up two pounds of ground beef, 80-20 I did. When it got about half brown, I went ahead and added some bell pepper some onion, some jalapeno, and four garlic cloves. Got them all in there to cook until everything got good and tender. Then I seasoned it really well with some mesquite seasoning. What kind? Red River Ranch, of course. So we got it to this point. We're gonna add us two of them four ounce cans of green chili. Pardon my reaching over. Hominy, who I do love some hominy. And it was drained. Yes, it was. And you can put these over here for right now. A can of crushed tomatoes. I don't want tomato paste. I want crushed. And you can see my skirt is blowing in the breeze. We're going to add us some cornstarch, which is about that much. So what do we got? Mm, we got some cumin and oregano. Cause we want to bring out the oil and good flavors, some chili powder, and look here, it ain't got no sifter on it. So you're just gonna sprinkle for windage. That is over <laughs> here, I think. And last but not least, some oregano. Give that a good stirring, folks. You might be asking yourself, why the cornstarch? Sort of help thicken that up and bind it all together. But folks, we're gonna add us some Monterey Jack and some cheddar. Stir it all in there really well. Get it incorporated. Now, we ain't gonna cook this no more right as of now. I just wanna get it all mixed while it's good and hot there. And then we just gonna set it aside and let it stay warm till we mix up that masa topping that goes in there. Mm. Y'all stick with me because I'm really hungry. This is one of my favorites. Well. It's a done deal over and it's got the booby trap lid on it. That way, if I hear something clinging off her, I know the beagle's trying to get in it. That's what it is. But folks, I think you can find this, most of you, at any local grocery store. Just masa. You look right down here and it says instant corn masa flour. Now you can buy a corn flour just by itself. Either one of them work, but I really like this. We're gonna do two and a fourth of a cup. How many is that, Duke? Two, are you paying attention? Mm. And a fourth, Duker. Mm. Some salt. Some baking powder. Don't blow away, please. Now, go ahead and mix that with your hands to make sure all that is incorporated well. We have got her mixed well, our masa. Now we're gonna use two cups of chicken broth. Now, if you had some beef broth that you've been cooking off an old roast or some pork broth, hey, that's fine too, cause the original tamale video we got is out of pork. And if you're wanting to do this, more maybe of a traditional kind, you can use half sausage, half ground beef, full sausage, whatever you want, pork, 
so it is good. There is two cups of chicken juice. But to that, we need to add a half a stick of melted butter. And then we're just gonna go to mixing. This is gonna look more sort of like some concrete mortar when you get it there. It ain't one of them deals you're gonna pour out over there. We are gonna spread it out. Now you can see, I'm gonna get you in here and let you see this consistency. We just a tad bit on the dry side and the way the wind is blowing today, folks, it will dry some things out quicker than normal. But usually two cups will do you on the chicken broth. This is about what we're after, folks, where it'll sort of stay on the spoon because we're gonna spread this. In fact, just let me bring it on over here. I see the booby trap lid is still on. The beagle didn't get any. Mm. Oh my gosh, that is fine down and big. So I want you just to dollop it on there, spoon it over, just spread it out in different places because we are gonna try to smooth it out over the top of this. Folks, you want it a little bit wetter than what I've got it so it'll spread easily. But my mother just used to just dollop hers on there four, five, six places and we'd go with it. So it'll all eat just the same. And you always know when you lay concrete, somebody come and come along and put their handprint on it. So looky yonder folks, it is a done deal. But guess what? We're gonna let this cook just a little bit and then we're gonna add some more cheese on top. Yeah, y'all probably seen the grilled cheese video. Y'all know that Kent wants some cheesy goodness on there. So let me set it over here, get us some coals, and we'll go to eating it pretty quick. Got her setting on a tall trivet cause it is mighty windy in camp today. And you see me get some coals out of old Bertha, sh shook the ash off of them and brought them out here and put a heavy line of coals around the outside of that on the bottom. Then I covered the top. Now. I want you to know this is really a pretty simple dish to cook because you have no dough mixture on the bottom. We're trying to incorporate all them flavors and get it a good boil and simmer to bring it up. Let some of that good juice bust through the top of that masa crust to where we can get all that flavor through there. Now we'll eventually have to pull some of them coals back off the bottom and probably get rid of a little of that heat on top. But we are gonna rotate because like I say, it is windy. Well, we've been on about 12 minutes probably, so Let's take a peek in there, you want to? Ooh, I like what I'm seeing. See that good simmering action that's taking place there, folks? Boiling that up through there, all them juices coming up through the top, making things good and tasty. So what we're gonna do right now, especially on this downwind side, is rake a little of this heat back. And you can see where some of this is trying to puff up just a tad if Shannon will get in here, see this little old knobbling. So this is beginning to try to set a little and I want it to brown folks. So we're gonna add some fresh heat on top, probably not take no more than about two or three minutes. Then we'll throw us some more cheese on it. Well, folks, as I dip that out, I'm gonna let it cool, I am. And let me talk to you a little bit about how easy this really is to cook. Now, like I told you, y'all seen me put it on that tall trivet like we did, but right there at the end, we had to rake a few coals away from the bottom, heat that top back up after we put that cheese on there, but get it good and melted, let that masa get sort of a crunch to it. 
everything is good and it's so easy it is tamale pie mm. just to smell this smells just like you're making tamales and i didn't have to go to near the trouble but don't forget that link up there you might want to check it out mm. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord, pass the biscuits, but please pass the tamale pie first because that there is some fine dining. Make me want to do the tamale roll. Roll in tamales, folks. You got to roll them. Get on here. Mm. Little moonwalking. Mm. James Brown, I be feeling so good, folks. This bring back a lot of memories here, so y'all gonna have to bear with me while I have another bite. Mm, 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 mm. Hang on. Oh my gosh. I hadn't eaten supper in a week. <laughs> mm. Mm. <clears throat> That's so good, Dookie. Well, I had a bite, and while y'all wasn't watching, Shan eat nearly the whole half a thing. Look at here. Y'all accuse me she don't never get a bite. <laughs> Somebody else been in there, she I have. have but my two taste testers are going to have a little of that masa and cheese right off her. Thank y'all so much for helping out on the videos today. Just got tail wags incorporated with it. You need another one to make sure. Okay. No, right there. Good job, big tail wags. Anybody? Come on now. Dad went to a lot of trouble. Well, folks, we hope you enjoyed this. It was something that was always special at our house and so easy to make. And forgive me, Mama, if I changed your recipe a little, but it'll be all right. I promise. Folks, as always tip my hat and I thank all our service men and women and veterans that have kept that old flag flying above camp and keeping this a free nation. Whew, I just lift you all up, I do. And remember folks, we have so many blessings at this time that we need to be thankful for. All the first responders, the EMTs, doctors, everybody, scientists that are working on cure, everybody that is affiliated with this to get us in a better place, hey, we need to lift them up in prayer. But I also want to thank y'all for tuning in every week because me and Shan sure do appreciate it. Remember to keep an eye on our community tab because there ain't no telling what we mean trying to pull out on you in a minute. So keep an eye on that. Everything you needed to know will be in the link there below it all. God bless you each and every one and I'll see you down the top. Molly Pie Trail. Oh, we ain't even got a trivet. Rewind, rewind, rewind. Is y'all stove this big at the house? You gotta reach over it. You know, let me tell you that backer, Duraner, Duraner, Duraner.